last time on this channel we started this big 3d scanning project of this puppet player unicorn we tried to figure out how to do all of this we started 3d scanning one of the pieces already and reproduced it on the 3d printer and then we made the final offer sent it out to the customer and now a few days later they came back and ordered four copies of this unicorn two in the original size which is going to be a little bit challenging because i don't have a printer yet that can print this bigger part in one piece and they also ordered two copies in a smaller version 66 percent of the size that's going to be easier for me throughout the video you will see also the challenges that i have with some of the parts and at the end we'll see all of this coming together i started scanning the smaller pieces first which i expected to be easier to finish this was true to some extent but since most of these pieces are very round and symmetrical they required the use of scanning markers not only a few but quite a few of them then i continued to the bigger and more complex parts of the unicorn the feet and head of the unicorn required me to apply scanning spray because the scanner doesn't work well with objects or parts of objects that have a black surface so i used the scanning spray to temporarily mask those parts gray and give them some texture this worked pretty well i can recommend using the ae sub spray it works seamlessly and dissolves after a few hours so you don't have to clean the parts then this neck element as i would call it i had to remove some of the ribs to get a better scanning angle and result and i also used black plastic sheet to mask elements of the part that i didn't want to scan in each run this turned out to be the most difficult part and most time consuming compared to all the other body parts finally i scanned the body of the unicorn which in the end turned out to be easier than some of the smaller parts however the resulting scan requires some post processing as the scanner is only able to reach to the inside of the cavities to some limit the slot for the neck element i will have to modify the cutout to be deeper as the scanner only picked up the upper ends same here for this compartment where there's going to be some mechanics added later overall i somewhat managed to stay within my seven hours time window that i projected to complete the scan my biggest learnings from the scanning process so far first of all scanning markers are super important and you have to use a lot of them especially if they have parts like these which are mostly symmetrical and round more scanning markers are better and also scanning markers are quite expensive as i figured i found that i could get 6,000 stickers on a roll for about 100 euro but that's still 100 euro for stickers even worse if you only buy these sticker sheets these are even more expensive per sticker compared to the bigger roll second learning here scanning spray is super helpful with dark parts black parts and also shiny parts so i will always keep a can of scanning spray around for these kind of projects automatic turntables are helpful to some extent i use the turntable that came with the Revo Point pop version 1 because it's much more stable than the turntable that you get with the pop 2 if you bought the premium package so if you got the pop 2 and intend to use the turntable especially for bigger and heavier parts get another turntable but i have a better idea don't just get a cheap automated turntable get something like this edelchrome motorized hat that you can control using an app i created a 3d printable turntable add-on for this it's way more convenient you can control speed and direction from the app especially going slower was quite an improvement for some of these parts however this is quite expensive so it's probably not for everyone so alternatively you might want to look at least for a turntable that has a speed controller scanning a part in one piece so trying to capture all the sides in one scan is sometimes not the best solution this neck element specifically i couldn't get a full scan even when adding more and more markers to it the software couldn't finish the scan because it lost track of the orientation so instead i went and scanned each side separately and then later merged these two shells in Revo studio however this requires some trial and error lastly three more things that you need patience patience and patience now seriously some of these parts i had to retry the scan six seven times to get a good result the software would lose track would lose orientation the scanner would stop working i had to reconnect it sometimes these round parts fall from the turntable in the middle of the scan so using some tape to fix stuff helps so my next step is to print all these parts in 66 percent size as we need the smaller copy first so let's do some 3d printing 